If you guys are looking to buy or sell any of your FIFA 23 Ultimate Team coins in preparation for Team of the Season, check out u4gm.com and use code ELITE at checkout. What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to another video on the channel. My name is Sean, a.k.a. Elite, and today we're talking about Team of the Season warm-up series. We're talking about which leagues are coming as Team of the Season's promo begins, and we're also talking about which cards right now should be rising a ton in the upcoming week. So if you're excited for today's video, do not forget to drop a like on the video because that helps the video do better. And I really appreciate that support. Now, today we saw it in an 87 plus mixed campaign player pick. It's not a terrible value SBC because the 87 plus that you get, you get four choices and it could be road to the final. It could be foot fantasy. It could be a hero card. It could be foot birthday. Um, all of those together, uh, you could end up getting yourself a decent pull. But overall, what I've seen with people opening this pack are a lot of L's. And I really do think that this is a coin sink in preparation for team of the season. It is some of the final ways that EA are going to take your fodder. They're going to drain your club. They're going to take your coins so that when team of the season finally hits and we finally get really good content or really desirable cards into promos and SBCs, you're out of resources so that you're forced to go out and buy FIFA points. It's all a scheme to get money out of you. But if you're smart, you can actually take advantage of that idea and make yourself even more coins. And of course, with this SBC, 87 rated cards have gone up. 86s have also gone up a little bit. 85 slightly up. 88s are up. 89s are still kind of down. But anything between the ratings of 86 and 88 have definitely gone up a lot today. And I don't think that they're going to start coming down anytime soon. Because guys, the team of the season, yes, you heard it right. Warm-up series is on its way. Fut Sheriff has confirmed that it's going to be coming this weekend, as you guys can see. So this Friday is going to be the release of the warm-up series. We've seen this for big promos in the past. We saw it for Team of the Year. We've seen it for uh, previous years, but it's going to be dropping on Friday. Now, here's the weird part, guys, because although we know that's going to be coming... We know that Eredivisie team of the season is coming on the 28th of April, according to FIFA Trading Romania, who has been a uh, you know relatively reliable source of leaks during this year. And Fut Sheriff also went out and retweeted that tweet. And he says that warm-up will start this week, which confirms that uh, both of them uh, believe that that's going to start on Friday. Uh, we're going to see a warm-up cup, which we've seen a lot of cups, SBCs, um, daily logins, and much more. So all of that's coming to the game uh, this Friday. And then Eredivisie Tots starting on the 28th of April, which is next Friday, which is throwing me off just a little bit because, one, I don't really think that Eredivisie would be a league that is getting its entire week. It would be one of the leagues that get the mini release on the Sundays or Mondays uh, when you get the big teams like Premier League team of the season or La Liga team of the season. And then after a couple of days, they drop the Eredivisie. And then the next week, they might drop Serie A as the big team. And then after a couple of days, they drop the Saudi League or rest of world. So that's kind of what they've done in the past. And it doesn't make a ton of sense for me for that to drop on the 28th of April because we also have to consider that the uh, most consistent tots or the community team of the season is what it's called now. The community tots is got to come out before that, surely. So is the most consistent or community tots going to come out during the week of the warm-up series or is this date just wrong? We're just going to have to feel it out. But if warm-up series is coming out on Friday, what we're going to see is a lot of SBCs, a lot of upgrade packs, a lot of coin sinks, a lot of um, ways to get fodder out of your club and rise the price of fodder because what EA want is for fodder to rise before the big packs get open. If fodder rises, that means people are more likely to open packs and get good value packs even if they're not packing blues. It keeps people opening packs, keep them happy while they are on the hunt for packing blue cards. It worked during Team of the Year during the lowest 
pack weight that we have ever seen in FIFA history, which was during the FIFA 23 team of the year. Nobody was packing team of the seasons or, or team of the years, excuse me. But fodder was expensive and it kept people at least getting some value out, uh, out of those saved packs. 85s had gone from, I think it was something like 7,000 coins all the way up to, uh, I mean, it, yeah, they got up to about 16K after enduring team of the year and they were about yeah six to seven k at the beginning of january and by the end of january after the uh, team of the year warm-up after team of the year and even future stars after that they got up to 16k so they doubled and then some uh, of course they hit their peak um during march but uh, I don't think they're going to be getting back up to 21,000 coins. But what I will say is that they've been hovering around 9,000 coins. And if we get a release of the Team of the Year warm-up series and there's not a ton of cards in packs, people will do all of the SBCs in order to save packs, but they won't open their packs until the Team of the Season drops, which means that we're going to have a full week or at least a few days where people are just spending coins on fodder doing SBCs, but not actually getting the packs open to replenish that fodder. So it's going to push the price of fodder up, which is why I went out and I've begun starting to buy certain ratings. I have started with 85 rated cards. Now, 83s also look decent and 89s look decent right now. But just looking at the history of SBCs during FIFA 23, it makes the most sense to me to go with 85s because the last time they were down at 8,000, 9,000 coins, they went back up to 15K. So I'm expecting a big return. Even if it's not during the TOTS warm-up series, it's a card that I feel pretty comfortable holding on to because they haven't been down at this low of a price since before 2023, since the beginning of January, end of December. So I've gone out and I have bought probably about 800,000 coins worth of 85s already. I might go in um, with more of these cards, but I didn't want to go unassigned quite yet. I wanted to leave a couple spots on my transfer list just in case um, you know, I needed them. Uh, I didn't want to go unassigned, not be able to see my packs quite yet, but I might very much so do so. 89s still look good as well if we're looking at cheap cards per rating. 89s are good. 83s are no risk. Um, and 85s just still seem cheap, although they did get pushed up about 500 coins over the course of the last 24 hours due to the 87 plus campaign player pick. But as you guys can see, I mean, 87s, the, they were just down at about 18,000 coins. Now they're up to about 24,000 coins, which is crazy. But 89s, uh, 89s are even actually starting to go up a little bit. They were at about 35k at their lowest. Now they're at 37. So uh, maybe a little bit late on that. We're starting to see the rise already. I'd say it's not too late to get in uh, for deals. It's just too late to get in probably for the best deals. We shouted out fodder all over the last couple of videos. So if you missed those, this is kind of your last chance. You're not getting the best deal, but there's still a lot of room for these cards to go up. But let's go ahead and talk about the Eredivisie team of the season now. And this graphic is from NLS FIFA over on Twitter. And there's some good cards in this promo. Uh, obviously, Simons is he's definitely going to get in team of the season. He has, uh, you know, he's the league's top goal scorer. He's, you know, one of the highest in assists and he's not even a striker. Um, so it, it's a pretty impressive card right there that we're probably going to see a huge upgrade on him. I'm expecting 94 as is in LS FIFA. Um, but when it comes to investing in cards that link to this promo right now, we kind of have to wait for leaks on SBCs and on objectives. Because when it comes to SBCs and objectives, the entire community can go out and do that SBC. And if it's good value, they will, which means that a lot more people will link to that card specifically um, and they're going to need a you know direct link to the nation or the league. Now, when it comes to investing in Eredivisie, the only card that really stands out to me is Dirk Kite's World Cup Hero card or pretty much any version of Dirk Kite's card because although it's kind of fallen behind the power curve, it was good earlier this year and it could definitely go up just with the release of Eredivisie Team of the Season. However, 
We have got to wait on the release of leaks for SBCs and objectives because despite the fact that people will be packing these cards and uh, a lot of them will be untradeable and people will need to link them into their team one way or the other, they're all going to be packing different cards. So some people need to, you know, maybe link Duvikas. They, you know, other people need to link Timber. Other people will need to link Hanko. And those all require different links, different cards. So the complementary links just don't rise quite as much for cards that are in packs versus cards that are in objectives or in squad building challenges. And for Dirk Kite, it's actually not the World Cup version. Uh, I misspoke. That card is Premier League based. It is his 90 rated fantasy hero, which is obviously his highest rated, but on top of that, it gets the Dutch and Eredivisie links. So that card right now, 690,000 coins, has risen a little bit because of the hype of this. I think maybe wait till he comes back down, 680, 670. He could be a good investment as we get closer. But uh, at 690, especially given the fact if you look at his 14-day hourly, guys, um, you can see that you probably don't want to be spending more than 660. Uh, he was as low as 637 uh, a couple days ago, and he was actually about 600K. Um, during the market crash last week, um, although that only lasted a couple of hours. 630 to 660 is what he's been sitting at. I wouldn't spend more than that. Right now, he's really expensive at 60, 690. Don't spend that much on him, guys. Try to get him for uh, a little bit less. But that's definitely going to be a card that links well. And uh, given the fact that it can also play center mid and right mid, as well as Cam, there's a couple different ways to get him into the squad. Um, and he could definitely rise with those Eredivisie links. What we are looking at now is the market tracker over the last 24 hours. And as you guys can see on the left side of your screen, a lot of various different cards. There's not a ton of correlation uh, with cards that have dropped. But on the right side of your screen with the cards that have risen the most, we're looking at 84 to 88 rated team of the week card. Inform cards here have risen the most. In fact, most of them went up over 20% in price. Some of them up about 40% in price. And so those are all the cards that have gone up the most. But if you do take a look at some of the other informs that you can invest in, um, right now, there are still a lot of options between the ratings of 83 and 84 that are still close to discard price. And you can snipe some of these like uh, Avalos or Bongong, uh Bongonda, um, but uh, I would go ahead and take a look at which cards are in the current team of the week and, and try to snipe those for as close to discard price as possible. We're seeing a lot of these get pushed up now in price quite a lot, actually. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at team of the week number 25, which just dropped yesterday. You're looking at Icardi at 14K. That is pushed up a little bit due to the new SBC. But the 84s and the 83s, guys, uh, Watkins as close to discard as possible. Campbell as close to discard as possible. And then you've got a couple 83s. Avalos, as I said, is the cheapest one right now. You can get them for discard price. Vormer, Doku, El Yamik. There's a ton of 83s to choose from right now. 84s are a little bit above discard price. So you're going to try to bid. You're going to try to snipe. Um, but what I wouldn't do is pay full price for them because they could come back down a little bit after the hype of this mixed campaign player pack uh, or player pick. It, it fades a little bit over the course of the next 24 hours. So maybe at 6 p.m. content today, see what comes out. If it doesn't require informs, this could be a good shout as a fodder investment. And before we head out, guys, I want to give a shout out to my kick channel, kick.com slash elite. We're almost at 100 followers. I need two more people to go follow there. So if you want to be one of those two people, that'd be absolutely awesome. And we're actually already partnered over there, affiliated. So uh, we're, we've been streaming over there for about five times a week. So if you want to get involved in the live streams, especially as we get closer to the team of the season, we're going to be opening tons of packs. Go ahead and get involved. Link is down below. But that is going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel helps out the algorithm and you know what else does drop in a comment so secret comment word of the day if you made it to the end of the video i'm dropping a heart because i appreciate you all you got to do is use the word kick in your comment and i'll drop a heart on every single comment that includes the word kick thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next upload peace out